In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using a solution phrasing point to calculate molar mass. So as the name implies, we're going to be doing a freezing point calculation, delta TF equals IKFM. That's the equation that we're going to be using here. Let's see what kind of information is given to us in the problem. 96.5 milligrams of a certain molecular compound. A molecular compound means that it is a non-electrolyte, so I equals 1. Ionic compounds are the ones that have I values that are 2 or 3 or whatever. If it's a molecular compound, that means it's a non-electrolyte. That means that I equals 1. It's dissolved in 30 grams of benzene, that's the liquid here, and the freezing point of the solution is 5 degrees Celsius. Calculate the molar mass of X. The molar mass of X is going to be the grams of X divided by the moles of X. The problem is giving us the grams of X, 96.5 milligrams, so we just need to figure out how many moles we have. Now it's saying if you need any additional information on benzene, use only what you can find in the Alex data resource. So that means that we're looking over here, the Alex data resource is going to be information that you get by clicking on that little bar graph symbol. It's going to pull up your data and your formulas. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at what we've got. Um, we've got, uh, we need a delta TF. We know the freezing point of the solution, but that's not what we plug in here. The change in the freezing point is not 5 degrees C. We need to figure out what the change in the freezing point is. And so in order to do that, we need to know what the actual freezing point of benzene is. That's where this data is going to come in handy. If you click on that little data table link there, you're going to be looking for phase change properties, that tab that says phase change properties of pure substances. Be a little bit careful because there is a um, a section in the in the data area that has KF values just kind of all by itself, that's a totally different KF, complex ion formation constants. That is not what you want to click on. You want to click on the phase change properties of pure substances. There are actually two different KFs in chemistry, so make sure you're getting the right one. Click on phase change properties and then look for benzene on that data table, and it's going to give you the normal um, freezing point of benzene for benzene, the freezing point, which it actually lists as the melting point. Freezing and melting are taking place at the same temperature. So the freezing point or the melting point of benzene, according to Alex, is 5.538 degrees C. This substance, this solution, has a freezing point of 5 degrees C. So that means that our change to the freezing point, delta Tf, is 0.538 degrees C. The change to the freezing point is the difference between the freezing point of the solution and the freezing point of the pure benzene. So we've got this part figured out, and we know the value of I, it's 1. We've got that figured out. The value of Kf, we're going to get that from the Alex data table right here. For benzene, the value of Kf is 5.07 degrees C per molality. And again, so this number I'm getting from here and this number I'm also getting from here. Now we have Kf, we have I, we have delta Tf, we can calculate the molality. Might not seem like that's going to get us where we want to be for answering this um, question, but we're just going to just crunch the numbers and see where we're at. The molality is going to be delta Tf divided by I times Kf. Our delta Tf is 0 0.538 degrees C. Our I value is 1 because it's a non-electrolyte, and our Kf is 5.07 degrees C per molality. And that gives us a molality of 0 0.106 molality, which is 0 0.106 moles of this X compound divided by kilograms of benzene. If we multiply this by the mass of benzene in kilograms, we're going to be left with moles of X, which is what we need for calculating the molar mass. So let's multiply by the kilograms of benzene, 0 0.030 kilograms. That gives us 0 0.00318 
moles of our compound X. So now we can calculate the molar mass. The molar mass is going to be the grams of our X. Uh, we got our grams in milligrams, so we need to convert that to grams. 0 0.0965 grams divided by our moles, 0 0.00318 moles. Uh, it wants this in one significant figure. 30 grams per mole.